This wine is making me hot, and I'm sitting in the middle of the living room with a sweater on. I recently discovered rosé, which most of you are probably like, but it was either red or white, and then I got a demi-sec rosé when we found out that Ivan passed the bar, um, and we got engaged that weekend and all of that. So it was a big weekend, and we had demi-sec rosé, and it was amazing. It was so good. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys about my experience going to Juliet Restaurant in Austin on um, South Lamar. I think it's South Lamar. Juliet Italian Kitchen on Barton Springs. <clears throat> but it's in like, it's like south of downtown. It was actually on the way back. We actually passed through all of the festivities with Trail of Lights, which we need to go see. I think Ivan and I went like two years ago with our other friend Vicky and Thomas, and it was fun. It wasn't like, I would much rather go around like a neighborhood and like look at people's lights for that they put up for their home. But you know, it, that was cool too. I, it, I can't say anything, Every, Christmas lights, everyone likes Christmas lights. I can't really say anything about the Christmas lights, but I would rather just drive around houses. I love doing that. I love looking at houses and the Christmas lights people put up and the, the, the ornamentation in, in the yards. And one of the neighborhoods near where I live has this huge, it must be 20, 22, 23 feet tall snowman. That's scary. I, 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 I can't, I can't get on board with the oversized inflatables. <laughs> if this snowman is three times my height, I'm uncomfortable. I don't care if it is an inflatable and it can turn on and off and go up and down. I, I can't. At my, one of the neighborhoods near my home in Sugarland, um, has a huge, huge Santa Claus. And it's taller than the snowman, so it, it must be 30 feet. It's huge. And I'm just like, and they're at, they're in the cul-de-sac at the, the very last house. So you drive down the street and they're the house that's right there. And it's a huge, huge Santa Claus. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Let's not drive down there. Let's, okay, we can see it from here. We don't have to drive down there. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm afraid of the large inflatables. But anyway, um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hanukkah started. Uh, happy Hanukkah for those who celebrate, celebrate. And Christmas is coming. Christmas is 10 days away. Okay, so Juliet Italian Kitchen. It was so good. For the most part, for the most part. There were some things that we didn't like, and I'll explain. But for the most part, it was so good. It was so nice. I went on Wednesday, the 13th, twice a week. Wednesday evening, Sunday brunch, twice a week. Um, KUTX 98.9 brings the music to the restaurant. Not, they, I, from my understanding, they coordinate people to perform for Wednesday evenings and Sunday brunch. Excuse me. I'm trying to do something here. Thank you. So on Wednesday, who did I see on Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so um, Andre Hayward was performing on Wednesday. Um, jazz trombonist, he directs a quartet Quintet? Quartet? Quartet, because there are only four people on stage. Quartet. They had um, guitar, a keyboard, and drums, and then the trombone. So that was nice. So he directs a jazz quartet. He's really cool. Um, they were playing like Christmas music. They had... Um, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, they did, um, I think, Jingle Bells, you know the classics, 
Um, but they all had a little bit of a twist on it. And um, before they would start playing the song, everybody had, you know, the notes that they were supposed to play, the sheet music. But Andre, right before they would play, he would do, um, and do the beat, uh, do, 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 instead of do, do, do. You know, it, he just like customized it right then and there. And it didn't seem like they necessarily had rehearsed that he would change up the, the beat or something like that, but it was still really nice and they did a good job. And then the, the vocalist had like a really soft kind of raspy sound to her. It was very nice, very nice. Nothing like, it wasn't that her vocals stole the show. It was about the jazz and it was about the music and the band. Um, so it was really nice. This is someplace I'd never tried. Honestly, I went to Vogue.com and searched Austin, Texas because I'm new here. I moved here in August. Um, I moved in with my boyfriend and now fiance. Um, and he has only been in Austin for law school. So it's like, he obviously didn't have time to go out and explore. And I've been here, I got here. And the before I even moved my stuff from Dallas to Austin, I had a job, a full-time job, which isn't to complain, but a very demanding full-time job um, that then moved to Smithville. So, which is like an hour away from me on the way to Houston. Um, so I never, we, neither of us had the time to really go out and explore Austin and everything that this city has and like all the activities and now it's winter time. So we're like, it's cold. Let's do them like the, the minimum. But, um, in the summertime, we didn't even explore Barton Creek. We didn't go to the Greenbelt or anything like that, but there, there's always time for that later. Um. We'll get to that, but you know, we we try to find new things to do. We're going to Trail of Lights next week, but we've been to that already, so that's not really new. But um, we, we're trying to find things to do here while both of us have the time to explore and um, just fun things to do other than stay in our, in our area of North Austin and, you know, go eat at the same places and go to the movies at the same places and stuff like that. So we're still trying to work on getting that done. But anyway, so that's how I found Julia Italian Kitchen. Um, and we, I noticed that they had live music. So I was like, oh, so down for that. Um, I love live music. And then I found it, it was jazz. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so we went to see Andre Hayward and his quartet. Um, and it was nice. They did a lot of Christmas music. We showed up at around 8, no, 7.30. It's, their set was from 7 to 9. We showed up at around 7.30. And, um, of course, I didn't make a reservation because I don't know when I'm going to show up to places. I don't know how long it takes me to get ready. I don't know how long it takes me to get from here to there. I don't do reservations. I, I, <laughs> I just don't. I can't. So, um, so of course we walk in and we say table for two and they're like, oh, you know, we've got a wait list already and we've got a holiday party outside. So it'll be about a 30 to 45 minute wait. And I'm like, that's fine because I really wanted to eat here. And there's jazz on the patio. So we went out to the patio and we enjoyed jazz for maybe 20 minutes. And then they called me and said my table was ready. So it wasn't even like that big of a deal to have to wait because you enjoy the jazz. It was too cold to eat outside, but we enjoyed the jazz. Um, and at that time it was almost eight o'clock anyway and they were about to take um, a little break to finish up the second half. So we were seated. You can still kind of hear the music from outside. Like anytime anyone opens the door, obviously we were seated like right by the door. Anytime someone opens the door, you could hear the jazz music from outside, but they also have um, really nice jazz music playing on the inside with vocals, so it's not just, you know, but it's got, like, nice lyrics and stuff like that. So, yeah, they give you, like, four menus when you sit down. Um, the food menu, which was short and sweet, and then they give you um, the featured Pinot Noirs, 
um, and a wine list by the glass and a wine list by the bottle. There, were, I mean, all of the menus were pretty extensive, or at least for the for the drinks, for the wine. Um, the food menu was everything that, like the staples of Italian food. It was very good. The menu, everything looked good. I don't eat seafood, but everything still looked good. <laughs> and I'm sure everything would have been great. Um, and then they also have a full bar. So if you want to drink, that's the place to go. If you like wine, that's the place to go. They have just as many whites as they have reds. And it's like front and back of this 8.5 by 11 page, cardstock page of just wine. Like, I would just go to drink all the wine. No, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I would go again for the food because the food was very good. We started off with mozzarella, which was made fresh every day in house. We didn't really like that because, and we kind of figured we wouldn't because I haven't thought it would be fried mozzarella. And I was like, it doesn't look like fried mozzarella. And we asked the waiter and he said, no, it's fresh. And said it's just cheese. He's like, yeah, it's just cheese. And <laughs> it's just like cheese. <laughs> He said, yeah, it's just like cheese. <laughs> but it comes with like roasted red peppers and arugula. And it's like the mozzarella is slightly salted and it has balsamic and I think olive oil on it. Um, that wasn't really our fancy, but I figured not because I don't eat cheese by itself. Any I just, I can't get on board. I fry it. <laughs> Um, so, but we ate like half of it. We tried. We tried it. The arugula was good. The arugula with red peppers was really good because it, the sweetness of the peppers balances out with the bitterness of the arugula. So I did have most of that because it was like four slices of mozzarella and then the other half of the plate was all like an arugula red pepper salad um, with some balsamic and olive oil. It was good. They also brought out focaccia which was also really good, slightly salted. It, it had this big granular salt, it was very good. And then they brought salt and oil for you to dip it in as well, which it didn't even really need it. It didn't need it. Um, and then for entrees, I got fettuccine fungi, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is fettuccine with a Parmesan mushroom cream sauce it was very good i was surprised that the the flavors were so like understated because you can play up mushroom pretty big but it was very understated um i ate like a whole like clove of garlic accidentally thinking it was chicken i love garlic but i don't necessarily want to eat it whole and then it came also with spinach in it rosemary breadcrumbs the breadcrumbs at first were like Ugh. but once you mix it in it's not so bad it, I think it was just a textural thing for me because the breadcrumbs were very toasted and they were very crunchy and I wasn't looking for a plate with crunch when I got like fettuccine with mushroom cream sauce I wasn't looking for anything crunchy the spinach was so good it didn't taste like cooked spinach because sometimes that doesn't go it doesn't vibe well with me that taste of cooked spinach but it was very good it was like they put it in at the very end just to soften it up and it was very good um and then Ivan got lasagna 17 layers homemade lasagna <sighs> I think there was some magic in that lasagna some holiday magic in lasagna because it was the best lasagna I've ever had in my life. 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 So good. And even the ricotta alone was great. It was the best lasagna I've ever tasted in my life. And I wish I'd ordered that. So, I mean, those two things were great. The mushroom sauce was great. The lasagna was great. And for drinks, we um, ordered off of the Pinot Noir feature. Okay, I got the... I don't know how to pronounce Terrigé. It's the first one off the Pinot Noir. It's a 
Brut Rosé. Very good. From Italy. And he got the Satori, which was also on the Pinot Noir feature. Sartori. Um, his was good. His was oaky and not as fruity. Um, and then mine was actually really sweet. Not too sweet. It was not demi-sec, which is the sweetest. It was more sec. Um, but definitely not like a hint of dry, but not anything like like what I'm drinking today. It was like smooth and sweet. I had two glasses. It complemented the mushroom sauce very well. So. And I feel like his comp I don't know, but I feel like his complemented his lasagna very well too because it was a little more subtle. The portion sizes were on the smaller side, especially for Italian food, where they can easily give you way too much food. Easily. Easily end up with a a ball this big of fettuccine. Easily. But um, they know their stuff, and they have it down. So it was enough. The portion sizes were small enough that you could comfortably order drinks, appetizer, entree, dessert, comfortably, and not feel super full after. We did get the chocolate lava cake for dessert. Personally, I didn't like it so much because it was dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. Um, but they also had gelato and sorbetto and it was like, oh my gosh. But we got the chocolate lava cake, which came with a scoop of the sweet cream gelato. It was so good. Even the chocolate lava cake was good, and I don't like dark chocolate. And it was topped with um, really nice like candied sauteed. Um, not candy, more sautéed, um, strawberries that had a great, great, great taste. It was good. It was good. I'd be back for brunch just to try it, just to see. What is their brunch menu? Rosé all day by the bottle. Sign me up. <laughs> but really, sign me up. Oh, bread pudding French toast! Ah! And then they've got, like, Biscuits and gravy and nochi hash, which sounds really good. Fried eggs and stuff like that. So it's like, it's not, it's kind of like their dinner menu where it's not anything out of the ordinary. There's something for everyone for sure. Because even for me, I'm so picky. And sometimes you look at these places that are nice and it's like, I'm not going to eat anything on this list or at least not anything straight off the menu, but at Juliet, there were several things that I could have just eaten off the menu. And next time, I will definitely get lasagna because it was so good. It was so good. Oh, my God. It was so... Best lasagna I've ever had. So good. What is the secret? I want to know. I need to make this at home. I need it every day. Ooh, food delivery services. Can they deliver it all the way up here? I'll look into that later. <laughs> but, um, see, so yeah, that was good. The service was really nice. The decor. Oh, I'm not even done. Okay, so the decor was, like, I read on Vogue it was mid-century, which, yes, absolutely. Anything from tables, chairs, the bar, the, the facade along the top of the bar was all very nice mid-century. And the chandeliers... They weren't really chandeliers. At, at least in the main room, they were like glowing globes, which is very mid-century, like just hanging globes. They had hanging ferns and ornaments <laughs> hung off the ferns. It was really cute. Um, and then the next room over from the entry had a gorgeous like landscape wallpaper. It was really nice. Um, and I could see that the room in the back had like a, a nice dark green or dark blue um wallpaper and it was nice um the only thing that that threw the mid-century was the artwork but it wasn't in a bad way like they had um the birth of venus they had like it was venus just venus's head and it was like pop art style so it had like the comic book colors so i noticed that pretty immediately like that doesn't really go with the mid-century um, but it was certainly, like, still fun and playful. Um, they had 
a, a party outdoors, a holiday party going on outdoors, and so they have a big canopy that they can close off um, and put heaters in, and it's actually a really nice place to be if you want to listen to the jazz music. Um, and then inside they have several areas that can be curtained off to be like a private party, a semi-private party. Um, so that's nice. Um, I didn't go to the bathroom. I should have gone to the bathroom just to see what But I didn't. <laughs> um, but I was like, you could see behind the bar that there was like a small wine cellar there. Um, which is pretty impressive. They obviously have hundreds of wines, like hundreds. And everyone that worked there had a little bit of Christmas on. Whether it was a Falalala Llama <laughs> sweater or our waiter had um, some tinsel tied around his neck like a tie. Um, we had ladies in red dresses and Santa hats and bows in their hair. It was really cute. And they really got into the Christmas spirit and it looked like everyone enjoyed working there. Excuse me! No! So. So that was fun. It was a good experience. Um, there's complimentary valet, which is nice because Especially in that area, parking can be hard. Um, and then they were very fast to get it to us when it was time to go. No. 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 So, um, it was a great experience. Um, and on the way out, I did get a chance to introduce myself to the musician Andre Hayward. Um, because I saw online in his bio that he was a professor at UNT, my alma mater. So I was like, oh, hey, I saw that you were a professor at UNT. I just graduated from there. And he was like, oh. and I was like, ooh. This is awkward. Were you not? Like, <laughs> what happened? So, um... So after that, I did some research, and I think he just was a guest performer? I don't know. I don't really know. I didn't look into it that hard. But it said it online that he was a professor at UNT, North Texas. And then I'm like, oh, yeah! And then it's like, oh, no. So that was awkward. I don't know what the deal is with that. But that's what it said online, so I, I just went with it. And I think he has performed at UNT, I know for sure, in 2015. UNT is a huge school for jazz and art, but mostly jazz. Um, I haven't looked up anything more about Andre, but um, I'm, I'm assuming he lives in Austin. Yeah, that's my review of Juliet Italian Kitchen on Barton Springs in Austin, Texas. So I'm definitely going back, probably Sunday. Honestly, honestly, I'll probably be there for brunch on Sunday. They said bread pudding, French toast, like the best four words I've ever heard in my life almost the best four words but yeah so probably not gonna make a reservation for that either just show up when to show up <laughs> oh, so yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video this was my first one and the wine definitely helped i need more um but yeah, thanks for checking it out. I, I hope it didn't take up too much of your time. And definitely go to Julia Italian Kitchen. Look up their menu online. I always figure out what I want to eat before I get there just because I'm so picky. And it would take me forever to choose. Definitely go. It's best lasagna. Get the lasagna. No, 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 no. Look and see what you like. And if you don't know what to choose, pick the lasagna. <laughs> so yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, just one more thing. Like I said, we're relatively new to Austin. Just pretend we just moved here. Um, if you have any cool things to do, see anything. If it's science related, art related, art related, music related, um, anything. If it's just only in Austin, like I want to check it out. I have to find new places to go here because I'm going to be here for a little while. So, um... Yeah, I 
I am open to suggestions for where to go, things to do, places to see, uh, people to check out. Like, that would be really fun. I love shopping. I love um, art. I love music. I love makeup. Ivan loves sports. Um, I could do better than that. He's my fiance. Ivan loves sports, science. He likes art because I like art. We like music. Yeah, I mean, anything, anything really. Um, we love to explore and just have a good time with each other. So if you have any recommendations, I'd actually love that. Please comment, let me know where to go. Thanks. We're just gonna wait this one out. We're gonna wait this one out. Dude. So I use the same highlighter as eyeshadow and I'm not feeling it. I feel like it just looks like I did swipe swipe and then it just got everywhere. I feel like it's fallout. Like all along here, I feel like it just just fall out. I'm probably never gonna do this again. I just can't. 